Reginald Peoples here with RWB Sports. Once again, we've made a road trip. Just right up the road, probably about 20 minutes away from where Ring War 7 is going to take place in Bethlehem at the Wind Creek Event Center. Put on by King's Promotions, Marshall Kaufman, Andy Boyd, and James Bartley. As once again, they work hard and diligently putting together fight cards for us, the fans, the viewers. Indios Gym, right here in Allentown, PA. Home of what are the combatants that's going to be on the card December 8th. And I'm talking about none other than welterweight, Thunjay the Tiger Teasley. He puts his O on the line against a 5-2 and two opponent as he steps up in opposition. And we're going to talk to him today and see where he's going, how camp has been, and what he's looking forward to coming out of this uh, event on the, on the 8th. Also, we also have the privilege, because you know Indios Gym is home of Coach Indios, and also the newly crowned WBA Bantamweight Intercontinental Champion of the World. And I'm talking about none other than Jonathan Rodriguez. So, I hope you're as excited about these interviews as we are, because we're going to get some footage of them training, working out, and then at the end, we're going to talk to both of them and see how they feed off of each other, what one does opposed to the other one, and how they work together in becoming champions, because these are the future of the sport. Uh, let's go. Right, get your hands up. Protect yourself at all times, man. Let's go, get your hands up Protect your chin Boxing culture at a high level You gotta be destined to win My team report all facts, no cap Keeping receipts on records Like they out here paying a tax Inside info like stockbrokers Flipping this crypto Breaking down the sweet science We could never be silenced Create the alliance It's destiny We stand on honor over here at RWB Let's go R-W-B Report on all things boxing, we about the whole court R-W-B In the middle of the ring, we about the whole court people here with RWB Sports. Once again, we've made the journey to Allentown, PA, home of Indios Gym. We came here to interview Sanjay the Tiger Teasley, a welterweight that's getting ready to put his O on the line December the 8th at the Wing Creek Casino. It's another King's Promotions card, and it's put on by Marshall Kaufman, Andy Boyd, James Bartley, and it is Ring War 7. But, Along with that, we were able to track down, get a hold to the newly crowned WBA Bantamweight Champion of the World, Jonathan Rodriguez. Welcome aboard, sir. Congratulations on your victory. And walk us through that. Walk us through that fight, if you don't mind. You know, um... Uh, before going into the fight, we knew we had a tough challenge, you know. Um, the guy was a uh, former world champion for a reason, you know, he's a great fighter. And um, our game plan was basically to go in there and, and box, and you know, box with throwing punches, you know, being smart about it. And you know, the bell rung, I threw a jab and then I fainted, and I seen something that I seen, he put his hand down, he fell for the faint, and then I jabbed again, then I fainted again, and I noticed he did it a second time. And I'm like, all right, you know, I just took my chance. I jabbed and I fainted a third time. He did the same move, dropped his hands, and I threw my straight hand, and that's when he went down. I didn't think the fight was going to go the way he did. I was ready to go all 10 rounds if I needed to, but, you know, stuff happens. Right. And I know you've trained hard. Going into that fight, if you look at the tail of the tape, 
you was actually a seven to one underdog in that fight because like you said he was already a champion he thought he was going to bring a young naive allentown young inspiring fighter up to try to get back on track in the boxing community well if you didn't see the fight i'm going to go ahead and let you know the fight was stopped at two minutes and 17 seconds in the first round and while he was sitting in the corner, he looked at his trainers and said, I messed up, didn't I? No, sir, you didn't mess up. That night, you were outclassed, you were outboxed. And you were outboxed by a general who dedicated himself to this fight. So, let the fans know what all you went through in camp getting ready for this fight. Um, you know, like, it, this whole training camp was a new experience for me. Uh, we flew a lot of people in. We flew uh, David from Oklahoma. We flew Alexander Rios from Florida. Um, Kenny from Puerto Rico. We even got work with Dylan Price. You know, it, it, it's been, it, it was great work throughout um, throughout training camp. You know, hard work. Like when I say I went through blood, sweat, and tears, I literally went through blood, sweat, and tears. You know, right. and yeah, it was just hard. You know, the toughest uh, training camp of my career. But you know, as fights keep going up. And competition keep going up, the training camp also is going to start keep coming up, you know? Exactly. And one other thing that he didn't mention, we were talking earlier before we were on tape. When you want something bad enough, when you're dedicated to something bad enough, you'll do anything to get to that goal. He told me he literally quit his job in order to train for this fight. In doing so, in winning this fight, it has opened up many doors for Jonathan. So, in winning this, what all has changed? I know it hasn't been very long since you were newly crowned, but what all has changed in your life since you've won this fight? You know, it's like the like the commentator said during the fight, you know, it was a life it was a life changing victory that night. Yes. And I'll tell you this, my life really has changed, you know, not only for for me, for myself, but you know, for my family as well. And uh, now I'm signed with Kings Promotions, but I also have a, a close uh, promoter, you know, it being Eddie Hearns. So, you know, now we got Kings and we got Matchroom um, as my promoters. Right. And, you know, a lot has changed, you know, like I said. It's only up from here, you know, onto bigger stages, yeah. bigger pay, everything, you know. It's only going to get better. And with your drive, your mindset, the sky's the limit for you, young man. And if you look around the gym here, you'll see a lot of young fighters in here. And they all started right where you did. You're inspiring a lot of kids in here and don't even realize it. You know, that's one of the things that I've always said that when I've watched you, I've talked to you, I've interviewed you, you've always been humble and you've always been uplifting to other fighters. That alone says a lot about you as a fighter. That alone says a lot about your character. I can't thank you enough for coming out and doing this. I know you have uh, other interviews to get to. Like you said, it's a life-changing experience. You're gonna be in front of the camera a lot. And I wanna thank you for taking the time to come out and do this. But I have one more question before we go, because I know that you and your partner, where are you at? Sanjay okay. Teasley, who we came over here to interview, yeah. is fighting December 8th in Ring Wars. Are you gonna be at the casino that night? Absolutely, you know, I gotta show support of my my, my brother over here, you know, he's right. got, that's more like my brother than my friend, you know. Exactly, exactly. Y'all have been together a while. I look forward to seeing you. I know everybody at the casino look forward to seeing you. Be sure you bring your strap with you because I have a feeling you'll be signing a lot of autographs that night. <laughs> Mine Absolutely. included. I'm going to bring a shirt, shirt just so you can sign it. Absolutely, I All got right. you. <laughs> hey, thank you, sir. Thank I won't you. hold you any longer. I appreciate the interview. Have a great day. Thank you. I appreciate uh -huh. you. Thank you, buddy. Uh-huh. That was that. We actually got that one. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, original people who would argue to be sports. I'm here at Indio's gym, and this is the reason that we made this road trip from Reading to Allentown. December the 8th, Ring War 7. Big promotions production is put on by Marshall Crawford, Andy Boyd, and James Carter. 8-0 World 
walked away, you find a, the type of tooth put this O on the line. I'm standing here with the tiger right now, and I'm going to ask him, how has camp been? Camp's been great. It's been absolutely amazing, honestly. Camp's always great, but each, um, each camp I get into just keeps getting better and better. I mean, each camp is more effective. I'm learning a lot more from the previous fight, and I'm learning on the job. That's the best way I could put it. Um, another cool thing about this camp that was different was my brother, he had, um, he had a big fight over inside of California. So I got to go out there, I got to train. Um, got some good training out there. Just everything's been smooth, a good experience as well. So that aspect of camp was besides cheering him on and obviously making sure that he did everything he had to do and him making sure he had to do it, everything he had to do was um, studying. Each fight that I was watching, no matter what weight class it was, I was studying all the fights. I was watching different fighters, seeing how they would react to certain punches, seeing how they set up certain punches, and right. so on. Even him, too. Yeah, he told me that uh, you was actually an overseer to him in his camp. Uh, even going out there to his camp out there in, in California, watching him, making sure that, you know, he ate the right thing, he did yeah. the right thing. And I was just talking to him, and he said that he's here to do the same thing for you. You know, December the 8th is only a couple weeks away. Yeah. Alright. You look sharp. You look like you're you're ready to go now. Alright. What can we expect from you in this fight that we haven't seen in, in previous fights? Honestly, you just gonna have to wait and see because each fight I already have a game plan set up, but each fight, I just keep increasing more and more. I mean, I already got the game plan set up, so I'll be surprising myself sometimes while I get in there. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I mean, I'll surprise myself and like, oh, Seb, I really did that. I'll surprise myself that it's the same way he was. It's kind of funny he said I was an overseer, but each camp, we always push each other more and more. And each fight, it improves us more and more. Like they say, all the hard work they put in behind the lights, when the lights aren't on, when you're all alone, it shows in a ring. So I'm not going to cheat myself. I'm not going to cheat anybody else that believes in me. I'm not going to cheat anybody. Um, if I don't put in all that work, then I'm just going to cheat myself overall. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Hey, hey, it's, it's good to have someone in the gym that you can banter back and forth with to keep you on your toes, to keep you going. How much of an inspiration is he to you? I talked to him, and he's like, you're more than just a friend. You're better. You know, and you were the big inspiration to him going into his championship. So, how much of an inspiration is he to you going into your fight before? Dude, every single fight, I mean, specifically this fight, he's a huge inspiration. Like, when he won that belt, it gave me ten times more inspiration and confidence than I already had beforehand. The reason why I'm saying that is because besides us being both trained under the same person, besides us both being trained with each other and working each other, like, making sure we stay on top of each other heavy, make sure we work, each, um, work out every single time or all, the biggest thing is that we both pray to the same God, we both believe in God at the end of the day, and... The reason why he's a big inspiration as well, too, is because it's outside the ring, outside of boxing, and outside of family. He helps me. He helps push me all the time, spiritually as well. He helps me with my mental health a lot. I'm not going to lie. Besides my mother and Coach Indio, Jonathan's been there through hell and back with me. Yes, from day one, literally, day one. since we was youngins. Yeah. Little, little kids. I see you guys, just like I told him. I see you guys. I follow you guys. Uh, one of the things that all WB Sports we do is we try to support our youth. And you two are role models in the community, you're role models in the gym. Every time I see you, every time I talk to you, you're well spoken, you're very polite, you're very knowledgeable about the sport. Thank you. You've got other kids in here that look up to you, you know. That alone is goes without saying one of biggest, you know, things of, of the boxing community, uh, because it's a very brutal sport, you can get hurt at any time, but yet, you still encourage kids to be better at whatever it is they do, not only just boxing, but whatever it is in life, and I like that, I want to commend you for that, I want to thank you for that, so, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm looking forward to seeing you December 8th, I will definitely be there, I will definitely be ringside, Yes, sir. So, you'll probably hear me down there, but I want to do something real quick. Hey, Jonathan, let me get you over here real quick. I'm going to get you to hold the mic. So, now, one of the things that you, you, you don't get to see this too often. You don't get to see two good friends 
training in the same gym, working for the same goal. But I got one question to ask both of them. And I'm going to leave it at that, and then I'm going to leave, and I'm going to let them batter it out. Which one of y'all is the best? I'm going to leave. <laughs> All right, respectfully, I'll say he had the more experience. He had the belts. And now he that. He fought the tougher opponent so far. I mean, I still got to work my way up. So I, I'm going to give him his respect. He, he the best right now. But I'm coming for you, Jonathan Rodriguez. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> He's stuttering. But he says that, but at the same time, he's the type that be slippery and get inside the jab and throw crazy shots that you would never see coming. So you have to stay in your 10 toes every single time because if you're not in your 10 toes, he's going to punch you in your kneecap. Yeah. And at the end of the day, he's saying we're trying, but we're not trying. We're just doing. At the end of the day, we push each other hard every single day. Like we said, each and every single fight that you see us in, he's going to see a huge, huge, huge improvements. Look at the last fight. He made a big statement. My next fight, I'm going to do my job and do the best and do the best I can to make a statement as well. Yeah, I don't want to miss it. I was this the best I've seen him during training camp that's far. So December 8th, come out and support you. I don't want to miss the Tiger. <laughs> Tanji Nakim, the Tiger Teasley, out. Original Peoples here once again in Allentown, PA at Indios Gym. You've just seen me interview Tanjay the Tiger Teasley, a world to wait just putting his O on the line December 8th. You just saw me interview the WBA Intercontinental Bantamweight Champion of the World, Jonathan Rodriguez. All of this boils down to this man right here beside me. Most people know him as coach. Other people know him as a pillar in the community, dad. I know him as a great friend. Coach, let me ask you this question. First of all, how does it feel having the WBA Intercontinental Bantamweight Champion home right here in Indios Gym? It feel great. It feel great. It's a kid who worked really hard for it for years. A uh, great kid. Not only he's a fighter, he's my son. Yes. So he be he be doing everything he had to do, and he do everything right to be in this position. He worked too hard, really hard for right. this opportunity. And like he told me, this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. And when you trust a God, when you trust God, everything goes through. Yes. And he has a, a brother in Thanjay. They're not biological brothers, but they've been around each other since they were real little. Mm -hmm. In the interview, they both looked up to you as a father figure. How does that make you feel knowing that you're touching the hearts and souls of a lot of kids that's here in this gym? Well, that, that's something that I always have. I got that in my heart. Right. I, I, the, everything I passed through in my life. And it always, you know, I mean, my life was a, right. I had a tough life. Right. Growing up. So, giving back to the kids, I got that, that talent. Right. Keep look, uh, to me like a father right. and that's the good thing about it and talking about Tanya and he's a great kid right don't give me no issues he's right. always there with me right you know what I mean and he always listen to me he's a good kid that kid gotta go far yeah his boss in Korea right maybe we have another champion coming out soon well because the kid can work and he work hard for everything he, he, he wants right and I can believe that because the short time I've known you, I've known you to be a, a very upfront and honest man. That, in my heart, says a lot about you. It says a lot about your character. To have these kids look up to you in that aspect says even more about your character. What do you see in yourself 
that would make these kids see you in that aspect? Keep doing what I'm doing. Yes. No change. Be who I am. No change for nobody. Right. Be a good example to them. And like I, like I always say to them, it's nothing better. It's no better school than the street school. There you go. Yes. You know what I mean, yes. It's nothing better than that. Yes. So when you are real, do and you from the street, you know, it's only three things. Yeah. Be loyal. Be honest. And don't train nobody. There you go. You know what I mean, respect you all the respect to get respect. Right. And that's what I got for this kid. You know what I mean. Yes, sir. So it's nothing better than that. So for me, I always want to be a sample to them. You know what right. I mean. Sometimes we got to stop, but stop and stop. Hey, hey, it's okay. It's good to happen to me. But right. now you know you was there when that happened. So you know why I'm trying to preach you all the time. Exactly. You know what I mean? Hey, exactly. that's the only you can do. Hey, hey that's when, you have, you when you have God and you have brother, you well, don't think it pass through that. Just so you know, in like I said again, the short time that I've known you, I look at you and consider you a brother. I've been around a lot of gyms. I've seen a lot of gyms. And this is just another one to add to the list of many gyms that is loyal and dedicated to the kids you know it's not about you you've been there you put all of your time and all of your dedication into all of these kids here you know and that means a lot to these kids because a lot of these kids you know they come from single family homes like you said they come from the streets they come from you know a bad upbringing or upbringing where there's no one there to love them at all you know, a simple hug, a simple I love you, I care about you goes a long way. And that's what I see you doing here at Indio's Gym. I appreciate all you loyalty and brother. But to be honest, in the gym where you got a gym like this, brother, you can be, you can make this kid to be a champion. You can make the, be somebody, the important thing to be, they be somebody in life. Like I got kids here that today they serve in the army, right. the marine. And uh, last year I got the opportunity, one of my fighters went to the army and called me and told me, I only allowed to bring family member and you my pop. I want to see you, my, see for me, yeah. that's, that's yeah. priceless to yeah. me, you know what I mean? Yeah, that so means said, a lot. Do you know when you got a gene, and you really do it for the heart, right. you only want to see the kid to be better than you in life. It not matter if it's in Basi and what, but it's doing something good. Right. Like go to the Army, go to the Marine, go to the Air Force, whatever you want to do. Be a, a supervisor and somewhere. And whatever. Do it, whatever they want to do, but they're doing good, yes. that made me happy. Excellent. I mean, that's Excellent. the way it's supposed to be. Well. I want to thank you for taking time out to do this interview. I don't know, RWB Sports Magazine is in the process of doing a gym of the year. We got started late, so we wasn't able to do the whole echelon of what we wanted to do. Next year, we want to have a banquet. Uh, but we do have the promoter of the year, which was already given out. December 1st, we're going to announce gym of the year. And you are a candidate for gym of the year you know so i will make the announcement december 1st on who the winner is and i'd like to thank you for taking the time out to do this interview i'd like to thank you for taking the time out to do what you do with these kids and hey my brother i'm always going to support you thank you Roy. keep always. doing what you're doing man thank keep you doing what you're doing god bless you hopefully you starting here, hopefully you'll be in ESPN one day. All oh. my prayer to you. And remember, keep fighting, bro. Yeah, right. keep we God like first. Here, yes, bro. sir. Always. God Always. Bro. Keep time, God bro. first. Right. Hey, and whatever you have coming up, let me know if you have a amateur event coming up or if you have any fighters that you want to highlight. Let me know. It'll be my pleasure to come out here and I interview will, him. I will, blow it. Right now, I'm busy with Tanya, right. December 8th. But after that, I'll be calling you there. Let me All know. Right. All right. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right, All right. All right brother. All right. <laughs> I'll have that up.
Let's go. All right, get your hands up. Protect yourself at all times, man. Let's go, get your hands up. Protect your chin. Boxing culture at a high level. You gotta be destined to win. My team report all facts, no cap. Keeping receipts on records like they out here paying a tax. Inside info like stockbrokers flipping this crypto. Breaking down the sweet science. We could never be silenced. Create the alliance. It's destiny. We stand on honor over here at RWB. Let's go. Report on all things boxing, we about to hold court.